you take out the trash. No, you take out the trash. Did you get diapers? No, I bought them last time. Like, I don't know that they're gonna wanna do that. And no one has children, so she will be the first one that actually has a kid at home presently sure. while she's working. What is that going to look like? Is she gonna be, who's gonna be watching Michaela? What is that situation? Gonna be? Like my show. It's like, this is my life on my show. <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> um, uh, I think it just makes her barometer or her, her calculations different. It's more like her time, like, um, how do I say it? It's just like what I do every day. You know, I, I may not be able to hang out with the cast because I got to go home and tuck somebody in. And it's, you do the job the same. I just think you have less time to give people, I think. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Is there a world that her and Adam are at home raising Michaela together? For sure. I just don't know how to write it, but I would love it. <laughs> just like, it would be so sweet. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know. That's not dramatic, is it? Like, I, I, you take out the trash. No, you take out the trash. Did you get diapers? No, I bought him last time. Like, I don't know that they're going to want to do that. Well, I feel like we got a hint of how he would have been as a father when he, you know, stepped in during that older episode with Michaela, and it was so adorable to see. So, I mean, obviously fans lo would love to see them together trying to figure this out. For sure. And there comes in the next episode, he has a relationship with a, a guy who has a kid. He bonds with a kid a little bit. And I sort of like look at him moony eye because I'm like, I do want it. That's ultimately what I would love. But also, you know, for everything that Rusik says, he hasn't stepped up. He hasn't shown up at my door being like, let's let's do this. Let, you know, so. I mean, and plus Burgess gave him the end this episode saying like, here's all the things I want. He could have been yeah, like, yeah, exactly. I want those too. I'm not a boy, I want it all. <laughs> Give me something. <laughs> What, I mean, taking in a child is going to be difficult no matter what. What is the biggest obstacle for Burgess during this? Oof, probably like buttoning her shirt right. I mean, like, you just don't look correct when you are a new mom. <laughs> it's just like, you should see what's happening below hair and makeup here. That's sweats and slippers. Oh. I love it. So basically just living as a mother, as somebody a mother is going to yeah, be. Yeah, I told, after I had the kid, I called the costume designer. I was like, sweatpants, no makeup. <laughs> I was like, there's just li very little goes into what, what happens when you have a mom, when you're a new mom, at least for me. God bless the women who can put effort into their face. But I'm <laughs> um, how much do you feel like you can tap into this role because of that? Because you went through being a new mom and then going to work and dealing with that. Do you feel like you can kind of pull from that? Yeah, I, but not yet. Like maybe the more the multitasking aspect of it. Like I felt like this episode really didn't deal with the sort of being a mom and, but yeah, for sure. Um, you know, in the next episode, I think Atwater asked me how's it going and I'm like, I love it. I don't know that Marina would say that. I'm like, it's really hard. I love her, but it's really hard. Yeah. But uh, Berger seems to be taken to it very well, so. <laughs>